This video is to show stitching out a block design with the ditch stitch around it. Um, we're starting at the very beginning, so I'm going to go into QCT right now. Then the first thing I'll need to do is to set the safe area once it gets through doing what it does. I'm going to do select and sew. So now I'm going to move the machine as far back as it can go and to the far left, and touch. And then I'm going to move the machine as far to the right as I can go and toward me and touch that. And that has created a rectangle for me to safely sew within. The first block that I'm going to select is the hearts. We'll open that. So now it's on the screen, and the first thing I need to do is to tell QCT where on the quilt top I want to place it. So I go into settings, and the screen that I get, I can tell the machine how fast I want it to sew, how many tie-off stitches. This is a toggle between back and forth stitching or micro stitching to start and end the stitching of the design. Um, I have it set for 11 stitches per inch. If the design were very detailed, I'd probably move it up to 12 um, less. I might move it down to 10. Um, so that's just something to consider in your stitches per inch. The placement method I'm going to choose is four points and stretch. And that is to allow for a block that's not exactly square. Um, there's, there's other choices here, but that's a video for another day. So right now we're going to say, okay. So now I have a design here, and what I'm going to do is as I touch each corner of this design, I'll also be touching the, the corners of the block. Um, there's also a little white square there that, that goes into detail about what the four-point stretch selection is. Um, so now I'm going to move my needle in for this block that we're going to do, and I want to be really accurate with where I put it. I want it right where the four corners there come together. So I'm going to touch that top left square. And now I'm going to move it to the top right. And again, I just want to be really, really careful and touch that. And each time I touch it, you'll see a yellow dot appear on that corner. And this block, as I touch it, it starts looking a little wonky, but that's okay. It's not going to look right until you have all four corners selected. So I'll move down here to the bottom left here and touch right there. And then over here to the bottom right. Okay, so now QCT knows exactly where I want it to sew. And I, there's one more thing I want to do. I don't want my block to stitch um, to, up to the seam lines. I want it to set one half inch within the block. So I'm going to go back into settings and over here to margins. And you have two choices, pattern and ditch. Right now we're doing pattern, so you want to make sure pattern is selected. These icons around this block um, you, you select those to make the amount that you're stitching from the line of the block to be bigger or smaller. Um, when you hit reset, it takes it back to zero because it'll, it'll hold whatever amount you had in there from the last time you used it. So right now, if I were to make it bigger, it would increase by one eighth inch outside of the block design. And then when I make it smaller, then it starts going within. When it's now one eighth inch the, from the um, stitching lines of the block. I want it to be one half inch. So each time it moves one eighth inch more. So now it's one half inch. So I can tell by the little blue dotted line that it's gonna stitch one half inch within the seam lines of the border. So I'm gonna say, okay. So the red and the green there in the center tells me it's going to start and stop uh, right there in the center. I, I could trace, but I feel really good that there's not going to be a problem with this one. So now I'm ready to pull the bobbin. So we'll touch that. And yes, the needle is up. So now it's moving to the center there. 
I'm going to hold this. I'm going to take a single stitch. And use my scissors to drag both of the threads. So now I've got the bobbin in the top thread. And I'm going to say so. So it's tying off with the four micro stitches. And after this stitches, we'll come back. The block is now finished stitching out. It looks very nice. It's a very pretty block. Um, and now we need to pull the bobbin. So we have a choice here, pull bobbin. So I'll select that. And I have to wait on the screen. I could do the move away, move back, and single stitch. And the, the plus of that is when you do your single stitch, it will be exactly where you ended. So that's nice. But I'm going to say release carriage. So now I can move the machine away and I can grab this thread and, and move it back to, um, to above where it stopped and do a single stitch and then just drag my, my scissors and pull it away. And, and if you were going to bury the threads, you would want to pull this loop enough so that you have enough to bury. But um, since I did the four micro stitches, um, I've just been clipping it from the top. And this isn't a, um, a gift. It's not a gift quilt, so uh, I just clipped it. So now I'm ready to stitch the ditch stitch that's going to go around it. You don't have to do that, but, um, but that's a nice option to give it a, a kind of pretty look. So um, at this point, I will say back and finished. And now I just want to point one thing out. Let's pretend you did that before pulling your bobbin. And you're like, oh, no, I didn't pull the bobbin. So that's no big deal. You can just go into your um, red toolbox, and then you could, you could move your needle back to the center and do the single stitch and, and do just like what we just did. So, so if you were to do that, that's no big deal. So now we want to do, um, do the ditch. So we're going to change this from pattern to ditch right there. We're going to go back into settings. And now we're going to change the margins to ditch. So that's something you really want to be careful about when you go in here is whether you're selecting for your pattern or your ditch. Um, we're, we reset it back to zero. I want my ditch stitch to be a quarter inch from the seam. So I'm going to choose the icon that makes it get, some, get further inward from the seam line. So now it's showing one fourth inch. So that's good. So I'm going to say, OK. And then I can tell the stitching is going to start and stop in that top left corner. So I'll hold my upper thread here and say, pull bobbin. And I could trace, but um, I, can tell, I can tell by the screen and the, the little blue lines that the stitching is going to be where I want it to be. So now I'm going to say single stitch. It takes its stitch and I'm going to pull my scissors through there and hit sew. And I'm going to go ahead and Clip the ends there while I have a good chance. Okay, I want to pull the bobbin, so I'll select that. And it, it takes a few seconds for all your choices to come up on the screen. And just like I did before, I'm going to release carriage so that I can move this away and move it back and get it right on top of where I ended and say single stitch. And it's taken the single stitch. And I slide my scissors, pull it away, and clip it. Okay, so with the, and I'm going to say finish right there. Okay, so with this particular quilt top, there's um, two more blocks that are just like this one that I want to stitch that same design in. So to do that, I would move my machine down to where um, one of the other blocks is, 
and it right now it's on ditch so I would say pattern and again I would select the four corners of the new block um, everything in settings for pattern is still like it was so I don't have to worry with resetting that so all I really need to do to stitch the other two blocks that are the same design is just reset the block for this for the other blocks um, there they've already been stitched but um, I chose a different design for them and and to do that um, I just went in select pattern and I tab down to the wreath hearts and said open the reason I chose this particular design for for this block is because it has a defined center in it where the where the four squares meet there and I don't know that this block is perfectly square so just like this block had an, had an exact center in it which was fine because this was an open block this one I didn't want to run the risk that a center design might not be centered it might be a little off so that's why I chose a design that didn't have a defined center to it and then um, you would again reset where the squares for the block is to tell QCT this is the block to sew that on um, in settings the pattern is still um, the margins for the pattern are still one half inch so that's still good and then I would just stitch that out and and same same with the ditch um, all, all the all the um, settings that you have will stay in there until you decide to change them so um, that makes doing working your blocks down your quilt top easy so um, I think that's about it and I hope you found this helpful